Hey there boys and girls, my name is Marius and welcome to my channel. Let's say we have someone shuffling a deck of cards, which of course brings a random card to the top of the deck. And then, by the power of our magic, we turn this card into an ace of spades, just like that. <laughs> by the way, the ace of spades is called Peak Ass in German. <laughs> That's right, Peak Ass. Odd Mario's magic. Like and subscribe. Although thumbnail roots these days on YouTube, we are not going to talk about the commie change today, which would mean talking revolution, which means changing the face of the whole society, right? No. We are going to keep it real here today. We are going to talk strictly color changes in card magic. The color change I'm going to show you today has been first published 1934 in a series called Card Manipulations by Jean Hugard. In the paperback version by Dover, we find the color change here on page 46 and it's called the Cardini Snap Color Change. And in the early 2000s, this move was then immensely popularized by Daniel Garcia, who however renames this move into the Eagles Change. So today it's out there as the Cadini Change or as the Eagle Change, <laughs> whatever. And that's a little bit of historical context here. And now I'm going to show you guys my take on the move on the basis of the publication from 1934. All the in and outs, all the subtleties, because that's what you guys subscribe for, right? Clickety click, clickety clack. And by the way, get yourself a paperback version of Card Manipulation Series by Hugard. It's a really nice lecture. Do this with the link in the info box. As usual, the right grip is key from the very beginning. And we hold the deck much like we would for the top shot. Remember this one, guys, the top shot, yes. <laughs> because that's what we do also in this color change. We are going to pull off a card from the top of the deck pretty much in this manner. So the proper grip is key so that when we pull off the card from the top here with the second, third and fourth fingers, we building up tension here with the card. As soon as the inner right corner comes over the edge of the right long side of the deck, the card keeps clipped between thumb and index finger, creating this tension here. So as soon as the card gets loose, it flips over automatically. Because we want to work here with as little muscle motion as possible, so we we are using the tension of the card. Of course, we need to perform a double turnover before we can perform the color change. If you don't know how to do this yet, or you want to improve your double turnover, check out my tutorial series with links in the info cards as well as the info box. With our double in position, holding a proper grip, we now pull off the top card, respectively the former second from the top, with our second, third and fourth fingers obviously under cover of the right hand, looks something like this exposed. After pulling the card from the top of the deck, you should end up in this position. Check this out, we've got a lot of space here underneath the deck, and then the card stands vertical in a 45 degrees angle. And it's clipped between the right long side of the deck and the fingers of the left hand. Check it out. In this position now, we can bend the upper right corner of the cards over our fingertips. And this is what we do with the palm of our right hand. We now need to find the right position, however, where we lock in here. And for me, in my hand, it's pretty much at the bottom of the ring finger. Right there, this is where I get the card, and this is how I bend it down. Do not bring your fingers over the top of the cards before you cover them with your hand makes it look so much cleaner. We're talking about this coming over versus coming over and nothing can be seen. Come over, bring your fingers in position and when you open your fingers, you snap the card. Look at this. I have all my fingers open. I display almost the whole deck and yet you don't see the card flashing with an Omni deck. The card, of course, is already bent in position in the palm of my right hand. From this position, three things happen at the same time. Simultaneously, clip the deck between thumb and second finger. Also, at the same time, lock in your 
ring finger and pinky. At the same time, simultaneously, open the left hand palm so that the card can drop into the palm of the left hand. Now all you gotta do is bring the cards underneath the deck under cover of squaring up the cards or rotating the deck in your hands and you have completed the color change. 1934 card manipulations by Jean Hougat. Pretty dope. Thank you so much for tuning in and if you subscribed you can rest assured more magical stuff is going to be uploaded very soon. And now I've got the India Indian Jones team. Indiana Jones theme with Phil Collins solo. Jesus Christ!